There's a fairly decent overlap between bike sizes and depending on your preferences, you can ride up or down a size and also switch up your position with a different stem, seat pose, setback, handlebar size, you name it. However, there are times when you realize that you're simply riding the wrong size bike, which can prove to be a costly mistake. So in this video, we're gonna share with you all a few clues that you might be riding the wrong size bike so that this never happens to you. Come on, madam. Oh. <laughs> First up, if you're riding like Superman with your arms thrown forward like this, you've probably bought the wrong frame size. Not only will this cause fatigue in your arms and your core, it will be a very uncomfortable ride. You need to bring those bars way closer. And well, in this case, the only option is to go down a frame size or two or three. One clue you've bought the wrong sized bike is that you can see the front hub. Now, this is a very basic piece of advice, so don't panic if you're experiencing this at home, but the theory goes that if you can see the front hub when you're pedaling, you've got your reach wrong. So if you're looking over the bars, you can see that front hub like I can, clear as day means you maybe have not enough reach. You're a bit too restricted here. You can see the hub behind the bars, you've got too much reach. Theory is you should have that hub just about obscured by the tops of the handlebars. Now you can remedy this with a longer stem or a shorter stem, but if you can't remedy it after doing that, you've probably got the wrong size bike, like me. If you are riding around with your arms in the air, then this could be a sign that you bought the wrong bike size. Yes, raising your bars can improve the comfort on the bike, but then on the other hand, if it is too high, it can affect your handling and your bike fit. If your bars are too high and your handlebars are higher than your saddle and you can't get them any lower, then you might want to opt for a smaller frame size or a bike with a smaller head tube. Having to use a crazy amount of seat post extension is a sign that you're probably blurring the line between the right size bike and the wrong size bike. Most brands will have a maxed seat post extension line on the post. And if you are on this line, you might need a bigger frame if you've got so much post out and you can't go any higher because it does get a bit dangerous when you don't have enough seat post inserted into the frame. You don't have enough kind of grip to grip onto that post. And if you're putting down the power, it knocks it away. As you can see, I'm definitely on that line on Manon's bike. I think I need uh, twice the seat post, actually. One sign that your bike might be a little bit too small is the feeling being, well, quite scrunched up on it. And talking about being scrunched up, feet. Now, I'm not talking about the wrong size shoes. I'm talking about toe overlap on your front wheel. When your bike's a bit too small, you do get a good deal of toe overlap, which can make things a little bit treacherous when you turn and corner. That front wheel just whacks your shoes. This happens to me quite a lot on Manon's bike. It's way too small for me, and I am wearing a hole in my overshoes pretty quickly. Now, a bit of toe overlap is relatively normal, but a whole, a whole huge amount of it like this, nah. Getting a larger frame will increase your wheelbase and therefore bring the front hub and the rear hub further away from each other, reducing that pesky toe overlap. Riding round with a massive, massive stem is great, but no one really cares. Yes, you can make the position work with a massive stem, but a few things will suffer. Your bike won't handle the same because your weight is so far off the front. And when you do put some serious power down, the bike just won't feel as responsive. Anything bigger than a 13 or 14 centimetre stem is getting into the silly zone. And you might want to opt for a bigger frame size. Although, if a big stem does work for you, you do you. Common bike too short complaint. Your knees are hitting the handlebars. Either when you're in the saddle, which is a travesty, or when you're out of the saddle, your knees are clattering into those handlebars like Ronaldo. 
scoring a penalty in the World Cup. Whoa, back of the net. Whoa, whoa, back of the net. Oh, my poor knees. Whoa. I don't know why I'm cheering for Portugal. Whoa. I do love Portugal, but whoa. I'm Irish. Whoa. Yeah, bike's too, too small, bike's too small. When it comes to your setback, you have quite a few options. You can have seat posts that are in line, set forward or set back. So if you can't get your setback right on your bike, that could be a sign that you've bought the wrong frame size. It could be you just can't get far back enough or far forward enough, and you might want to opt for a different frame size. So those are some clues that you might be riding the wrong size bike. Hopefully you watch this video before you actually buy the bike. Yeah, hopefully we've given you some useful tips. And if you did enjoy, then please give it a big thumbs up. I mean, it's been quite entertaining watching you ride that miniature bike. Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, look, I've look how low your bars are. It's very, very low. I feel a bit kind of, it's like an out of body experience for me. That's aerodynamic though. Very aerodynamic. I, I feel like a double decker bus. I think I kind of want that one back to ride home on though. I don't know if I, I feel like I'm just pedaling very small circles. Very small circles. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. 